Uh, good afternoon, rail fans. Joe here with the Black Rock Central Railroad. As a lot of you know, we had a train show in Timonium this weekend. The first train show in almost two years. Uh, after two years of no shows, I was expecting a heck of a lot better than what we had. Very disappointed in the turnout. Uh, not quite as many vendors as we normally have, but there were some deals to be had. So let me turn the camera here a little bit, and we'll show you a couple of things that we got. But I did happen to catch a good deal on anyway. Flex track. I had to shop around. But I got two five unit or five uh, stick bundles, so ten sticks all together for 20 bucks. I figured, eh, you ain't going to beat that anywhere. They were the only two bundles that he had, though. Everybody else was charging uh, almost six dollars a stick for one piece of track. So I think I came up with a pretty good deal on that one. The other thing I bought was I don't need a full box but I bought a full box of cork road bed uh, I think I paid twenty five dollars for that box which has been going for forty five and fifty dollars a box so that was another good deal now the real good deal here I gotta turn the camera off then turn it back on again when I get it completely in repositioned so hang tight for just a second people we did pick up just a couple of freight cars uh, Jason the train freak I hope you're watching because these are special for you two of them are anyway the first one here it has the old uh, Ray Bobble couplers on it and I haven't changed them yet since I just got home a couple minutes ago so uh, it's going to be pushed by the RS1 and then you have to look at the last car that's going by so let's fire this thing up and we'll kind of creep on by here this first one here I gave a whopping three dollars for it so Jason that one should make you a little bit happy the other two hoppers here came with coal loads but they're going in my cement plant hauling gravel and the last one here Jason ought to make you real happy oh yeah you bad mouthed me before for not having cotton belt we got two cotton belts we'll run them occasionally anyway so that's all I actually got at the train show. I did pick up uh, a couple different bottles of glue and a package of 22 inch radius curves which is strictly for uh, my uh, staging yard when I get to putting that in. They're going to be more of a template than anything else since I got the flex track. But once we get busy doing things here and the price of lumber comes down a little bit more, yeah, we'll get some things going here. Sooner or later here, sometime this week, I hope to get out an update video, so y'all stand by for that one. Or look for that one, I won't say stand by, look for it. So guys, that's the, that's the extent of my uh, purchases, purchases at the train show. I didn't do that good selling anything. I took a whole bunch of 40-foot boxcars up there. Uh, I think I sold maybe five out of uh, 20 cars that I had and metal wheels, KD couplers, nice cars not a thing broken on them, was charging a lousy ten dollars a piece and only sold four maybe five of them so I don't know what the people were looking for but there was not very many bags walking out of that place that were full but we got another show coming up in February so we hope that one's better that one I'm going just to look and buy, not sell. So y'all have a great week coming up. Thanks for subscribing. 
And by the way, check out my Teespring. I got two coffee mugs on there, one for left-handed people and one for right-handed people. Give me a comment and a like if you liked the video, and we'll talk to everybody later on. Bye for now. This is me again. I have made a terrible, I mean disgustingly terrible omission in this video. At the train show, I had the pleasure of finally meeting Ray Bobel, Anthony from the Georgia Sun Belt, and Alan from the Mason-Dixon Railroad. Very impressed with those people. I've watched them for quite some time now and finally did get to meet them. Ray actually came back to the show again today and we had a, a nice chat. Sooner or later we are going to get together. He had a uh, get together yesterday that I guess some of you saw. I missed it because I was still at the show and I was riding with uh, another guy so I couldn't get him to uh, wander away from everything when it was all over with. But we'll catch up with everybody. But I did want to say that I didn't meet those people. I missed Rick. I don't know where the tree was. Uh, we were all the way in the back of the hall and uh, if you didn't know we were there you would have missed us. So they did finally find up or wind up catching up to me anyway. So we did have nice conversations and it was a pleasure to meet both of them. I needed to put that in this video. So thanks guys and it was a pleasure meeting you both. Or all three of you, I should say. Thank you much. Bye.